I've been hoping to do a uh, a podcast on SAP and the new AI related to SAP. And I thought of the two most knowledgeable SAP people that I know. Makesh, of course, is an expert with SAP with over 25 years of experience. Lance has the largest ECC user group on LinkedIn with over 10,000 participants. And so it's the right group to talk. Makesh, have you, have you seen AI getting integrated with, with the Microsoft Copilot into SAP applications yet out, out in the field? Today, in the present world, you know, what they call it is like the user experience where they kind of brought in uh, the, the user experience and they have they have the AI infused uh, models, like, you know, which is not typically like an embedded AI or a generative AI, but it's more like they have given you some very high level source of automation for the all the key business processes that you have. And they have put everything in the business technology environment that they call as the BDP, you know, where you can probably do whatever customization, automation, analytics, AI that you want to do and keep your main system as a clean core so it can kind of get upgraded like, you know, every six months, one year as SAP kind of puts some new features to it. So that's how they kept it. But last week, you know, it was a big surprise and it was a very good safe fire, you know, which I could not attend in person, but then I attended virtually all the different keynote sessions. Very interesting, you know, they announced like their AI assistant, which is called Joule, now is going to be integrated with the Microsoft 365, you know, AI model, which is like co-pilot. And now together, what they are going to do is they are going to kind of bring the embedded AI and they call a customized AI, which is like the SAP business hub. Like, you know, they will kind of split that and put everything in the business technology platform, BTP, you know, which will be available to all their cloud customers. People who are going on the rise with SAP, people who are going on grow with SAP, all those customers will have that BTP and that will come with Joule and Copilot together as an AI. And, and what they meant by the embedded AI is like, they have created like 50 plus more integration and kind of created the large language model, LLM models to it. So whether it's on the sales side, which is like the CRM, or whether it's on the procurement side, which is, you know, more, more like on the purchasing side, or HCM, or finance, which is like the spend, spend management. So any of those different, you know, uh, models that you have, you can probably you know, use AI to that. Like, for example, like if a CFO while doing a book end, like month end, wanted to see, hey, how is my overall books looks like, you know, and uh, how, what is the gap looks like? What are the things that we need to do? AI can probably answer all of that because it's all been integrated with the backend system, SAP. And it will kind of bring all of that and kind of put that whole analytics dashboard in front of them saying, hey, this is the gap. When the gap is, it will help them kind of do the month and quarter and like 40, 30 to 40 percent more quicker than what they are already doing and with a better visibility and picture. So, Mikesh, those this, are, this, it, this sounds like a almost an interactive report kind of a capability. Is that accurate? Yeah, it, it, you can say that, but you can ask much more extensive questions than the interactive reporting because now, since your core process is integrated, you know, with your Joule, which is the AI assistant, you know, it's already got the inbuilt LLMs to it. That means the Joule is now completely trained and has all the information about what your system is doing. So if you ask them whatever question, like what you do in the chat GPT, you ask one question, it goes to the entire world web and kind of tries to bring you the answer. It will try to go in, in your entire core you know, application, look into all the details that you have and kind of just come up with the answer. And if you say, hey, now put this in a data analytics form for me and show me in the last 10 years how the company did, it will also kind of do that oh, for you. Okay. It's pretty much, you know, everything uh, that they are doing. And, uh, and that is that they are doing with the Microsoft. But the second good thing that I like the most is that you can create your own generative AI models now. So they have partnered with the AWS. So AWS is a has a LLM model, LLM AI model, which is called the AWS Bedrock. So they have partnered with them 
And the bedrock is a menu service model that comes with all the different LLM models inbuilt to it. You know, you can choose which AI LLM model is best for you. you. Can take that based on the pricing, based on the security, and based on the other stuff. And you can start building your own AI. And SFP will give you the integration capabilities to integrate that with your business process on your application. Okay. So, so that's a very cool feature. I think. I love that. I'm going to I'm going to take our listeners or and viewers out just for a second here and I'm going to share um share to read through this article in front of us it's it's talking about some of the Microsoft integrations and so I wanted to ask you about that how how much of of what we see um from from SAP's AI is from the Microsoft platform and how much is Part of the jewel are they those two things working together at this point and, and yeah, they, they are working they are working together yeah. soft is not microsoft has just given them their co pilot model co pilot is built in to kind of integrate with any system you know and kind of has a lot of large language model capabilities sap has just partnered with them and kind of integrated that, integrated that with their jewel it has nothing to do with like microsoft is kind of providing any Information or details, you know. Once they this jewel with Copilot comes along with BTP, everything that SAP has kind of integrated and developed with a back on the application SAP and that has the the real time customer data inside that. So they have just created that integration and kind of told jewel with the algorithm about when the data comes in, what are the different you know scenarios that. He needs to know and kind of learn. So based on that, it can probably help give the customers, you know, some answers that they are looking for. So as you as 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 they go move forward with more and more data, Jewel will become more and more mature, and you will be able to get more and more extensive, you know, information that you are looking for. Yeah, it'll be interesting to me the the Microsoft and SAP. Press release said the integration of Microsoft Copilot and Jewel brings together the power of gener generative AI. AI to unlock greater employee productivity and will enable enterprises to accelerate customer centric innovation in a unified experience. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it sounds like they are trying to to work together to get those two AI. Uh, code bases together those the functionality of what both of those products do together to to supercharge each one of them absolutely and i'll just give you one quick example about this embedded ai and how it was so cool because they came up with a use case that they shown like you know, hey ai is integrated with the, one of the sap application concur concur is a travel and expense system so they are saying like you know, hey suppose you are going for a project bid and you know the company that you are going to present is in San Francisco. So you say like, hey, now you know this is the project, this is the detail. You put those details in Joule, and Joule can tell you based on that, based uh, on the knowledge that they have put it inside the Joule, hey, what are the different consulting people that you would be looking for for this type of work? And it and then tell the Jewel saying, hey, based on this project information, how the team should look like. Jewel will give you, okay, you need one project manager, you need one functional consultant, you need one upper and all those, and we will come up with that whole, you know, project team. And also we'll give them a high level timeline about what it would take for them at a high level to do that. And now they can probably see, hey, who are the people inside the company who have that capabilities that they are available at some location. So Joule will connect on their HR system and will be able to see who are the people in the company who have those particular skill set and will tell them, okay, there are five people. This person is the best. He is based out in LA, okay, not San Francisco. So now the manager can probably connect to that LA office and try to lock that person for this project. So it will kind of give that whole integration thing. And at the same time, if there is a travel plan that has to be done, then you say, hey, now put a travel itinerary for those people. So if the person is in Louisiana and has to travel to San Francisco, it will connect to the conquer system and will also connect to all those airline applications 
and will give you okay these are the three best airlines that the person can take and this is the one which come under the travel policy you know so everything is so integrated you can probably get everything together you can prepare all those put that and say hey now send this pdf to all the people who are going to be part of this team and then Jewel will search the email address from the HR system and will send one email with the PDF to all those people. Huh, that's, that is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. No. amazing. So, so those are like very cool features. But the customized AI is something that will be required because client wants to do their own AI model, LLM models. So that is their partnership with AWS. And the last one that they told, which kind of made every one of us so excited at the same time, it's not a very good news, I would say, for the consulting companies, but at the same time, it's a good news for everyone as well. It's like they are partnering with NVIDIA. As you know, NVIDIA. NVIDIA makes super AI computers or models. They are like the biggest hardware AI company who've been working on building all those hardwares for the AI for the last 30 years. And Jensen Huang, who is the CEO, is the main brain behind it. So now they have partnered with SAP. And they are kind of building big LLM models that SAP is going to consume. And SAP is going to make two AI tools out of that. And one tool is for the consultant, you are the functional consultant. And one tool is for the developers who are the above developers. So now what they have shown me is like, you know, a functional consultant going in a project, you know, does not know some of the new things that has to be done. It will go to that jewel and say, hey, I want to configure this, you know, or for this plant, you know, using this storage location and all those. Can you just guide me how to do it? What jewel will do, it will go to the SAP system. It will read all the configuration that SAP has and it will come back and say, hey, go to this transaction, click this link, click this, put this configuration under this bucket, click save and you are done. And here, here is the screenshot or a demo to kind of know how you can do that. Mm -hmm. And, what, and, what, and what, same with Abacus. You can just yeah. tell like, hey, write a line of code and it will write the line of code. You can just copy and paste it in your Abap editor and you're done. They're so taking you over, they're, it's taking over our jobs. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's Let me, you know, for someone like Lance who has 10,000 people in his ECC user group. 23,000 people, actually. 23,000. Oh, yeah. So for, for, tw for his 23,000 people that he has in his group on LinkedIn, can they use the AI tools with ECC or is that only going to be in these different new cloud products that no. SAP is selling? No, that's a very, very good question. So, you know, what SAP has announced is like, you know, it comes for all their cloud customers, like people who are on rice with SAP, who are taking rice with SAP, like people like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you say, Sub-Zero, you know, for example, like, you know, they're one of our clients, like, you know, who kind of moving to rice with SAP. So, or any small and medium companies who are taking the public cloud, like grow with SAP, it will give them the BTP, the business technology platform as a package that comes along with it. And BTP has that jewel inbuilt to it. That you can probably procure. For any ECC customers, SAP knows like you know 70% of their entire world customers, or maybe 80% are still on ECC. They are not moving to S4 on our eyes with SAP, you know, for the next three, four, five years at least. So for them, they said yes, you can do it because they are already using BTP. A lot of them are using BTP because they just don't want to make their system more and more customized because it will become more and more big problem for them and they upgrade. So they are already using BTP. So BTP is only available in cloud because it's been hosted in the AWS. So if you procure BTP license, you will get the dual functionality, dual functionality, and it's all been integrated. You just have to point it, like you know, instead of pointing it to the S4, rise with SAP system, you have to point it to the SCC system. Good. Well, this has been a great conversation, guys. I want to thank you, Makesh Munka, SAP expert, mm -hmm. for spending time with us, Lance Wendlandt, largest ECC group, 23,000 wow, plus. Uh, thank you, both of you, for your time this afternoon. And for everyone else out there, you are watching the vodcast. For 40 years, he broke his back, left his landlady with his pension check. 
said, little 